Sta facendo chiedere il trafo. Io non ho, sai cosa non ho i guanti? Eh, uh, li prendiamo. We can really uh, see the effect of the climate change. The, the main one we can say is uh, the spring frost, because now the winter are quite warm, they are not cold enough, and the, the bud break, the moment of the buds start to grow, occurs sooner as before, at a period, uh, early April, where there are some frosts. And uh, you, it's difficult to deal with that. You can lost all your production in only one night. So we have some work our own solution to find, but uh, it's very tough. Allora, so, one, two, three. What? Three is not three, three lines, but four people. We always had some storm here in Burgundy, it's something uh, uh, usual in, during the summer, but now the, the frequency of the storm and the intensity is completely different. We have a lot of storm and very, very intense. That's why we can say the climate is changing here too. The first one we can do on a vineyard like this is to work on the height of the leaves. To, the more height you have, the more shadow you have and will protect the, the leaves. We are trying to, to keep a lot of leaves at the grapes level. And uh, we are trying to keep some weeds on the soil to avoid that the temperature of the soil get too high. totally a bummer for me because I love uh, Pinot Noir, uh, it's my favorite varietal, it's delicate, it's different aromas, the evolution through age is amazing, uh, but we cannot fight against nature sometimes and it's us, we need to adapt, we, we probably need to change uh, the varietal, the grape variety here, because not every year, but some year, you got really ripe, ripe, ripe Pinot Noir and it's not the way how it should uh, be the Pinot Noir. Um, and probably Pinot Noir need to go far more north. We need to plant it over there where it's more is climate. Uh, and we need to start to plant like, uh, yeah, probably other things.
And we also are creating new virages, uh, which is um, a cross between Pinot or Chardonnay and resistant variety, resistant to powdery mildew and downy mildew. And now I have uh, my team is in, is in uh, the cellar right now uh, because we are vinifying more than 300 new varieties. So maybe one of them uh, or several of them uh, carries uh, the future of, uh, of Bourgogne.